What is going on YouTube? It is Bowtie Brem back in the building. And today we have another Bowtie video. Um, as some of you may know, I got the subs in the back. And uh, when you have everything booming and banging, it gets a little rowdy in there. We may or may not have blown some door speakers. It happens when you're jamming. Okay. Today we got a little install slash review. And uh, let me bring it right to you. All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, squirrels. Today we have the High Yanka from Amazon H Yanka. Um, some nice uh, six by fives. Now, if you guys don't know, six by fives are what the front and rear speakers are in your uh, 07 to 13 Silverado. There, in there. I already put one in over there, too, so I want to test it before I make this review. Get a full, realistic review. And they are slapping, so I figured, let me show you the second one. So, let me uh, dive into the packaging, and then we'll get to the install. All right, so this is what your uh, stock speaker is going to look like. You could take this after you get it out of your vehicle, which I'll show you how to do and do that. Junk. But, now, for the main attraction here... Come on out, girl. Nice packaging, too, by the way. I'll give them that. You guys know it's not too easy to do this uh, one-handed here. Hang on, let me open this. Shabam! This is a little plastic dust cover. Don't need that, but it looks fancy. But this is the main attraction. You have the H. Yanka. She's got some good uh, boomage. I don't know much about speakers here, guy. It's a two-way... Coke style speaker, 4 ohm, 500 watt max. We're not hooking an amp up to it. Stock speakers. So yeah, there she is. A lot. I'm not going to throw it, obviously, but a lot better built than those uh, cheap stock ones or whatever you want to call it. So uh, yeah, this is the main attraction. Now let's uh, hop into how I'm installing it. This also does come with, I'll show you over here, all the wiring, screws, all that jazz that you would need to... Uh, install it but we're doing a little uh, bow tie brim special here so we're not going to use that but uh if you were doing a normal application it's got everything you need and it still does for my application so let's hop into it i'm not going to bore you to death here so we'll do some little snippets door now all right real quick for you you have a, that's your door handle pop this piece off then you got two bolts just make sure when you're putting your bolts away just Put them with everything they're all the same pretty much but it's less confusing that one that one two down there door handle one more right there in your door uh locker and unlocker and then all you do is rip your door panel off and uh, let me show you what to do with this uh this uh window switches and door lock lighting here but uh, my secret is for the door switches, just pop this one big connector out right here and then slide that through the uh, hole. And then I don't feel like taking apart this whole assembly thing. So grab yourself a power washer, preferably Ryobi with the Honda engine. Make it as your stand and then you have more than adequate access to your speaker. All this is connected by is a... a what is it? Let me see. Hang on. It's a uh, 930 seconds bit right up here, and it just pulls right out. Now, after you get that bolt out, it's going to be stuck in there. Take your Milwaukee, throw it in the top there, give her a yank. Yank. There's a clip right here on the bottom. Slides out, and uh, she's out. All you got to do is disconnect the connector, which I'm going to do two hand here, people. Righty, after you have your a speaker out, stock speaker out, um, what you want to do is you want to take it and carefully throw it over there and uh, go over to your workbench and grab your new sexy speaker. And uh, so for the driver's side, all these wires are all different. So on the driver's side, you're looking at the tan wire is positive. The I think it's gray is negative. On this one, we have a uh, green and a uh, light green, so we're gonna have to hit the Google and uh, let me get back to you and tell you which one's positive and which one's negative. But all I'm gonna do here is snip the harness, take this back a little bit and get to splicing and dicing. 
and these connectors, I must messed up on the first one. Obviously two different sizes, your positive and negative, it's two different sizes. So just be aware, positive is the fat one, negative is the skinny one. Let me get back to you with which one's which. Oh, and make sure you follow it too. Black is the positive. Okay, let me get back to you. Alrighty, so your light green is positive, your dark green is negative. So you're going to cut. And also what I did for this application is I take the speaker, put it on here, put a couple dots to where you're going to eventually drill out the holes and then send the self-tappers through. Um, yeah, forgot that one, but who cares? So yeah, light green positive, dark green negative. Snip, pull this back. This thing is just, I don't know what they use, super glue in here, so it's a pain in the butt. But uh, yeah, make it happen. Now, if you guys don't know, these are the best splice connectors you can buy, okay? That's a little piece of solder, glue on the sides, and heat shrink. You can get them in all different assortments, but you got a big kit of them for like 10 bucks. Grab yourself your sexy extension cord with your little heat gun here. All you do, turn the sucker on. Get your little shield all dialed right to life. Oh, hang on. Well, you get the point. Heat it up. Definitely do one at a time here, but for video's sake, I'll show you. Heat shrinks to it. That glue solders itself together, connects everything. Super sexy, super clean. So do that. Make sure your speaker works. Make sure you're not a ding dong and uh, wired it right. And uh, yeah, let me solder this, drill some holes, and we'll get back to you. I'll just slap the door panel back on, reassemble. Alrighty, everything is back together, back in action. Make sure after you're done doing something, clean up. Okay, make sure it's all clean. Make sure it's clean. Now for the moment of truth. Let's see what these things are all about here. some listening and let me give you an honest review here I like it they are not bad not too freaking shabby hang on let me flip it around and give you my review alrighty guys so you're getting two six by fives for about 35 bucks which obviously you're not getting the cream of la creme but uh, for 35 bucks not too shabby. They got good bass. They got good um, travel. So uh, yeah, I give them a I give them a nine out of ten for being thirty five bucks. I know, not too shabby. It was self explanatory. It came with everything you need. Um, yeah, I would I'd get them again. Obviously, I only did my fronts because uh, I tap my subs into my back doors and everything, and uh, I don't want to deal with that right now. But yeah, overall, like I said, 9 out of 10. Once again, the brand of them and the box and everything, and I'll link it in the description, is uh, H. Yanka, High Yanka. I don't know, pretty mint. I like them. But all right, guys, Bowtie Brem signing off here. And uh, yeah, she is uh, very loud again, both in the exhaust region and uh, the speaker region. We'll catch you guys when I catch you. It's finally warming up here, so I'm starting to do videos. I don't like being in the cold. I'm going to be honest. I don't like the cold, so I wasn't shooting videos. Catch you guys soon. Peace out.